Nyonga Fresh Greens is a company whose vision is actually to improve the livelihoods of smallholder farmers in Kenya. Uh, we work with the export of both fresh, dried and powdered food products and our main markets are in Europe. The company was founded in 2015. It began as a one-acre farm, mainly dealing with the French beans. But over the last five years, we've grown from just being farmers to exporters and actually agro-processors of value-added products. So uh, when you're working with exports of fresh fruits and vegetables, there are two ways of working. You can either have your own farm or you can work with contracted farmers. And because of the climatic conditions in Kenya, it means that there are fruits that are in season in one area and then in, in, not in season in a different area. So when the fruit is in season in one area, you'll find that most of the people are around the region in that particular area. For example, let's just talk about bananas. When bananas are in season in one area, because of the climatic conditions, you'll find that all the bananas in that area are ready for harvest. What that then means is that when traders come to buy the fruits from the farmers, a lot of it is either left at the farm gate because people only select what they see in their eyes, what they feel is cosmetically good. Just think about yourself when you're going to buy fruits in the market. You actually just pick and select the good ones and then what seems to be ugly to you or not good enough is left. But the truth is that the ugly fruit and the perfect fruit still has the same nutritional level. So what we do is we try to get both the perfect fruit and what is considered ugly and we collect it from the farmer and then we go and do value addition of that fruit. So how we do value addition is through uh, drying the fruit as well as turning it into powder. The current challenge that Myonga Fresh Greens is trying to address is the issue of food waste. A lot of food waste is happening at the farm gate level. So usually when you're working with farmers, you have a contract with them and then you collect the fruits from the farm or either they deliver it to the pack house. In the, in the whole process of transporting the fruits from the farm to the pack house, a lot of waste is actually happening. We try to do value addition for the fruits that would have gone to waste. The value addition we're doing is through drying the fruits, which increases says it's shelf life and then the value you have added to it also means you increase the price that you sell the product so what we do is that uh, our plan is to make sure that the farmers can learn how to do the value addition of the fruits so that they're not just selling the raw material but they're also selling something that has added value and this is through learning how to add the value as well as learning first how to control the crop as they are growing it to make sure that what they get is mostly a good crop. My name is Bernard Muinde. I'm a farmer in uh, Machakos County in Kangundo area. And um, currently I'm planting fruits and vegetables. I um, focus bananas, have avocados, a few oranges, popo, and eggplants for vegetables, and also the amaranth, which are traditional vegetables in Kenya. And um, for the fruits, um, I'm currently contracted by Mionga. Um, we buy most of my products uh, for export and also for local market. And um, one of the reasons why I feel it's good to work with um, an organization like Mionga is that uh, at the moment I'm actually going through a training on organic farming because I'm focusing more on organic farming. And I feel having access to such a training, being offered by a buying organization is very important. And also as a farmer, um, I feel it's very important for me at the moment working with Mionga because um, I, I'm guaranteed of the market for my products, which is a plus unlike many other farmers, small older farmers who just uh, grow um, crops. Then you have to worry about the market when you have the produce. So you cannot be assured of your income in the end. So I feel confident and uh, glad that Mionga uh, works with me. Because of the climatical calendar in Kenya, it means that, and the, and, and the regional kind of demographics in Kenya, it means that um, some fruits can only grow in one region, in one season, and then a, a, another fruit is growing in a different region. So what that fosters is to contract farmers from different regions of the country. So for example, for passion fruits, we contract farmers in Moranga. For bananas, we have contracts with farmers from Meru and Embu, as well as uh, Kisi, because those are banana growing areas as well as uh, Taita Taveta they have the best and the sweetest actually uh, bananas and then for mangoes we have Meru and Embu we have Makweni as well as Tana River and Malindi. 
if we get the funding, this is what we're going to do. Number one, we're going to change the model and move it from just having farmers bringing their products to the factory to having the factory come to the farm gate level. So we are going to do three things with the funding. Number one, we are going to make sure that our farmers get organic certified because that's where the waste starts. Once, if, if the market is demanding that the product is organic and it's not organic, then you reject the fruits, it goes to waste. The farmer's resources go to waste. Secondly, we are trying to make sure that we do value addition at the farm gate level and that is what we are calling the, our factory the willing fruits. It means a factory that moves from farm gate level to farm gate level and processes the fruit at the farm gate level. So we are teaching the farmers, the second thing we are doing is teaching the farmer how to not just sell raw materials but to process value added products which is actually value addition and the value addition would mean they would earn more. Then the third thing we are doing is creating employment at the farm gate level, giving them market access uh, where we are cutting the chain from having them dealing with uh, probably the middlemen. Now you're dealing directly with the farmer co cooperatives, you're dealing directly with the farmers themselves and so they're able to get access and actually do more with what they have.